And what we're doing here on this part of the installation is cleaning each board. After we did the sanding and then the blowing, you got to take and wipe all of this dust off. And uh, one of the things you want to make care careful is that uh, you don't get the fibers of the rag snagged. So you just kind of lightly do this. It dries real fast. See, there's a little piece. Dries real fast, and then we're going to do the polycrylic coating, the first coat. What I do is I put one coat on. See all the dust on that? Put one coat on, and then I'll sand it with a 220 grit and to put another coat on. Some of these videos, they may be entered in not so chronological order just because of the nature of the way I've had to set up my stuff and take it apart, set it up. It wasn't exactly planned. But you can see I've got several different setups so I can get a lot done. It doesn't seem to matter how fast you go. Um, each board takes so long to get done. But you'll see in uh, that video that I posted, I think it's labeled number two, kind of what the finished product looks like. And then when I get my whole three rooms on the ceilings done, I'll, I'll put a good picture up, or a good video of the finished product with the trim. And it's been a lot of work. Each board, I guess, I bet, break it down, each board's probably a good hour to prep and get ready and seal and I move along here. Okay, so we'll end this one up and I'll put up another little video of the polycrylic application. And of course, at this point in time, you could choose to stain these boards, but I'm not staining. I'm just putting a natural clear matte finish on the board to preserve the color, which I like. And you can see in some of these boards, there's different reds and browns and honey colors. I mean, I just think it's gorgeous wood. Each board has its own unique uh, features. But uh, this would be the point right after these dry that you would stain them. And uh, one of the other reasons that I, after doing the research I did, I, the reason why I didn't stain and use polyurethane is because it's oil-based and it takes a long time for it to dry obviously and um, the clear matte polycrylic seals the wood preserves the color without uh, time delay because uh, as soon as I put that polycrylic on it will be dry in about 10-15 minutes to the touch and you can sand it roughly I give it an hour sometimes two and then um, it's done so you don't have to wait all right I'm gonna end this video I'll get another one with the polycrylic when we get started